Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry if the audio is a little bit off compared to my la last couple videos. Uh, my actual wireless mic, uh, it ran out of battery, um, so I can't use that. And my Rode mic is just not working right. So uh, so you're gonna just have to deal with the, the normal mic on the camera. Um, but this video, I wanted to kind of make some decisions. I wanted to kind of tell you where my mind's at. Um, and just you know, hone down on exactly what's coming next. Uh, I know I do a lot of these videos, but it helps me uh, kind of talk it out. It helps me communicate with you guys and start some conversation. And, it, and it ultimately, it helps me decide on what to do next. Um, you know, what you guys want to see, and just kind of reassure uh, what I'm doing here is something that uh, I know is that I want to do, and that is something that you guys want to see. So, the hood. We I, last video I put out. Uh, I talked about the two, the two brands, Saibon and Vis Racing, um, and you know I kind of went back and forth, but ultimately I think I'm going to decide on the Vis Racing V2 hood. I've heard that the Saibon has better fitment, uh, but and the Vis Racing is kind of hit or miss. So I'm hoping that if I do, you know, I do end up purchasing that one. Um, you know, the fitment, I get, I'm one of the lucky ones and the fitment is good. Uh, but the reasons why I chose that one, uh, simply because, a uh, couple reasons. I plan on staying top mount. Uh, I don't plan on going front mount in the near future. Uh, so I, having that OEM ducting that goes back to the intercooler back there is very important to me. Uh, and the Vis Racing V2 hood has that. It has the holes already drilled out. All you do is transfer it from this hood onto the new one. And uh, that's really important to me. Uh, the Saibon does not have that. You would have to drill it out yourself. Uh, and I do not want to drill holes into a carbon fiber hood. Uh, that is just, you know, I, that's something I'm not looking to do. Uh, also, the vents, ultimately, I, that would just bother the crap out of me. Um, you know, driving in the rain. I live in New Jersey, so I, I see all different types of weather. Uh, and getting, you know, just rain and snow and whatever getting into the engine bay is just going to keep me up at night knowing that the engine bay is going to be constantly dirty um, and i keep my car really clean or at least i try to especially the engine bay um, it's something that i take a lot of pride in uh, and i just i i would hate to put a, a you know really expensive hood on there and just be so upset that my engine bay is getting destroyed all the time uh, so the vis racing hood has rain guards uh, it's something you can take on and off. So if there's a, if I know it's going to be a really hot day and I'm going out for, you know, specifically for a drive, uh, all I got to do is just, you know, unscrew a couple screws and they come right out. So it's it's pretty, uh, pretty simple. Uh, and I think I'm going to be much happier with that choice. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, pictures and videos on the Vis Racing Hood. And um, I, it just seems like the the seam right here or the, uh, the body line, it's a little bit wider, uh, but who knows, I've seen some pretty good fitting ones. So I'm hoping that uh, whatever one I do find uh, has a good fitment. Uh, I'm just looking for a vendor right now. That's pretty much the decision on the hood. So uh, next up, wheels. These wheels are sold. <laughs> wheels and tires, everything. Everything you see here is sold. Um, and you know, that might upset some of you guys, but uh, to me, I've had these wheels uh, going on three years now. Uh, I, have, I still love these wheels. I think they look great, but I'm just ready for a change. Um, I'm ready to kind of you know, change things up, get a new look here, uh, you know, be able to take some cool new pictures and new videos and everything and talk about some new new stuff as opposed to just talking about these wheels over and over and over because I get questions on them all the time. Um, you know, and for me, you know, I see the car every day. I drive it every day. Uh, maybe it looks awesome to you because you don't see it as often. But for me, again, I see it every single day. I drive it every single day. Uh, and <laughs> It's, you know, it's just a repetitive and changing wheels com completely changes the look of the car. Uh, so I'm looking to uh, change up the wheels, believe it or not. Uh, I mentioned that or I hinted that uh, in a lot of my videos, but I think now is the time. You know, it's June, uh, you know, this, this weather is getting really nice uh, and I'm just looking to, you know, change it up and get a cool new look on the car. Uh, so there's a couple wheels that I have in mind that I'm gonna run by you guys and see what you think. Uh, there's only one that's, there's four of them. There's only one that's readily available at the moment um, that I can basically get from any vendor, but the other three are hard to get and there's a lot of wait time. Uh, so right now, my number one choice is the new work Emotion ZR10s in Glim Black. Um, I found a lot in the bronze color. I found a few in the, in the white and the black, 
but the Glim Black, which is basically like a gunmetal silvery finish, uh, is impossible to find. Uh, apparently it's the most popular color uh, and everybody placed their orders back in March or April uh, and they're just getting their wheels now. Um, you know, I, I wasn't, I really don't like doing that whole pre-order game and waiting months and months. I've done that in the past before and you know, it was just such a tease and, and ultimately, uh, you know, it's something that I'm not sure if I'm go I wanna wait that long for because by the time they come, I feel like I'm gonna be moved on to another set of wheels or I'm just, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big gamble, you know, waiting that long for a very expensive set of wheels. Uh, and then, you know, you get them and it's just not what you want. So I don't want to do that. I want to be able to find something that I can just find in stock, you know, get in a week or so, uh, and then put on the car, see if I like them, if not sell them off or something, you know, I want to make the decision now. I don't want to wait all summer, uh, to make that decision and figure out what I want to do. Uh, so I'm, number one is the work ZR tens. Those things are impossible to find, but right now I am searching high and low like crazy to find somebody that may have a set in stock. Uh, so if you know anybody, let me know, please. I have money ready. I'm ready to go. I want to buy it. Uh, next up, I have another set of wheels that I'm looking at. They are Volk TE37 SLs. Beautiful wheels. They look great on pretty much any single car. Um, the color I'm looking at is called Formula Silver, which is a kind of a mix between silver and gunmetal, more towards the silver side, which would be a huge change on this car in terms of you know the overall color scheme. Uh, but having having a nice set of silver wheels on a blue car, uh, it's just a classic, classic look. I think it'll look really good. Uh, it's a nice aggressive spec, 18 by 10 plus 40. Uh, so it would look really, really sweet. I've always wanted a set of TE37s and you know, I'm at that point uh, where I'm able to do, do that and, and pick up a set. So uh, kind of leaning, I don't know. I want them, but at the same time, I'm not sure I'm 100%. I had the Gram Light 57 DRs, which I know are not, they're not TE37s, but they're a similar type of you know design. They have the six spoke, you know, really thick spoke. Uh, and it looks good, but I grew pretty tired of that look quickly. So I don't know if that's gonna happen with the, with the TEs. Uh, I don't know. I, I really know, I'm not sure. So uh, next set, I, I, ZE40s are probably my favorite Volk wheel, uh, but finding the, the spec and the color I want seems to be hard and everything has to be pre-ordered. Uh, and plus with everything going on, everything is just so back ordered and taking forever. Uh, so I don't know. Um, ZE40 is definitely on my list. And if I can find a set, uh, I might have to snag, snag those, but we'll see. Uh, the last set that I'm looking at, that is, I can literally just buy right now, uh, are the Wed Sport TC 105 Xs. Uh, I want the 18 by, by 10 plus 35, uh, which is nice and aggressive. Um, and they look great. I would get them in the gunmetal color or Titan, I believe it's called. Uh, the only thing with those is the, the face of them are kind of flat. They do have some concave, uh, but ultimately I'm not really a big fan of flat faced wheels. It looks a little uh, too square and boxy to me. This car is pretty boxy looking um, and having like a flat faced wheel would just kind of you know, enhance that box look. And I'm not really looking for that. This car needs some concave or a lip. These wheels are perfect. They have a nice concave to it. Um, so, you know, ultimately that's kind of definitely the direction I want to go. The ZR10s have both, they have a little lip, plus they have a lot of concave, so it's like perfection. Uh, but the, the TC105Xs, what's really nice about them is they're extremely lightweight. They're 18.8 .8 pounds, I believe, uh, all, you know, all around. So you're shedding off a lot, a lot of weight. Uh, you know, rotational mass, and, and that really helps the overall performance of the car, you know, just with the overall handling, uh, even even the actual, you know, how fast it feels and, and takes a corner and everything. Uh, so that's that's really cool. That's uh, that's like Volk territory, you know, weight. Uh, so I am looking at those, but, I, you know, I don't know. I'm undecided. Uh, like I said, my number one choice is the Work ZR10s, but I cannot find them. Uh, really frustrating. So if, again, if you guys know anybody or know a vendor or, or even have a set and you want to sell me, let me know. I will buy them. A couple of other updates real quick. I try to make it fast. I don't want to make this too long. Uh, the Renegade Motorsports cap set. Uh, they reached out to me a couple, I, I believe it was last week. They said, hey, we're really, really sorry. Uh, but the powder coater, uh, they kind of dropped the ball and, you know, your set, the, you know, the color I chose uh, was kind of put on the back burner. I don't know what happened. Um, but they were not happy with their powder coater and how everything was going down. Uh, so ultimately they just said, they said, Hey, we can cancel your order. You can get your money back or you can take a credit and keep the, 
uh, you know, credit for the powder coating or, and you keep the, the order in. Uh, and ultimately that's what I decided on. I just took some, some of the credit and I'm just waiting on the cap set because I really do want it. Uh, they said two weeks, that was last week. So hopefully I hear something next week, but, um, you know, who knows their powder coater let them down before. So I'm not, I don't have my hopes up or anything like that. So hopefully that comes soon. I'll be able to do a video. Uh, I'm looking forward to that finally to get rid of all those yellow ugliness under here. Uh, yes, it's just cosmetic. It doesn't hold the car back from being driven, but ultimately I would love to have it and I'm looking forward to getting them. Uh, next, I guess, update, tail lights. <laughs> believe it or not. Um, if you guys can see, this is the first set um, of the new tail lights that I got. But if you look right here, kind of hard to focus because there's so much glare. Um, the sealant around here is like oozing out. It's not, it's not liquid or it's not wet, uh, but it's just dried like that. Uh, when I bought it or when I when they came in, um, I was, you know, it didn't really bother me. I didn't really notice it at first. Uh, but as I started taking a closer look, I noticed it and I was like, oh man, I don't know. Uh, and I was like, let me just live with it and see. So I decided just to throw some pictures over to Subi Speed, see what they would do. Um, I, you know, I was like, ah, they probably won't do anything about it, but let me see. Uh, sure enough, they answered my email within a couple hours and they're like, hey, uh, no problem. We're gonna send another set out for another, you know, another side. Uh, I got that that side in like a day or a couple days. Um, and here it is. <laughs> so I took it out of the box and here's the tail light. And as I was taking open the packaging, I noticed this weird defect right, uh, right here. Um, it's not very big, but you know, it kind of leaves like a little divot right here. Uh, and you know, it's, it's on the bottom. I probably wouldn't even notice it. They were pretty good about the uh, customer service on the other one. So let me just maybe send an email and just let them know that this is, you know, not even necessarily for me, but for you know other people too that may have this problem. Believe it or not, uh, I got an email right back saying, hey, that's an issue we have dealt with on several occasions. It's a manufacturer defect. It's within their mold. Uh, it happens all the time in that exact same spot. Uh, so, you know, they either offer me a credit uh, or they said we can send out a new taillight. So I was like, I already have a working good taillight over there. You guys are nice enough to, you know, just send me out another one. Uh, and let me know what to do with all these these spare taillights now. That should be coming in a couple days. Uh, so I'll, I'll update you guys when that comes in. Um, but now I have so many passenger side taillights that I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of them. I guess it's nice to have some uh, spares, <laughs> but all I have is one there and I have three spares basically for this side. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna ask me to send them back. They haven't yet. So I, you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll be more than happy to send them back, uh, but I'll see what they say. Um, oh, also, the diffuser that should be in in a couple of days, uh, the the replacement because of that little defect. I do plan on doing the giveaway, um, so you know stay stay on the lookout for that. Um, you know it's probably gonna be very similar. You know having to follow the, the channel and my Instagram and everything and uh, commenting below or something. So I'll, I'll announce all that once I get the new one in and make sure everything is cool, uh, and then we'll do that. And I think that'll be fun. You guys will enjoy that, and uh, I'll enjoy it too. It's it's fun doing these things. So. Looking forward to that. Uh, but otherwise, spats are looking good. Absolutely love um, how what they do for the car and just make it super wide and aggressive. And I don't know, I just really, really love the whole entire back end now and everything I've done recently. One last thing, I ended up selling the WC Lathworks knob. I'm keeping the cob. Uh, I love that knob so much. Um, and having a $200 shift knob sitting in the cabinet wasn't gonna do me much. And I decided to sell it off. Sold super quickly. Holy mother of God. What the, what the hell is that? That's not nice looking. Damn, definitely don't want to bother that. Is that a wasp? I don't know, his tail is moving. Okay, so it's time to get out of the garage because I'm going to light it on fire. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, I guess on that note, I'm gonna end this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the video. If you guys have any comments or, or questions or anything about what I chose or what's going on, comment below. I'll be more than happy to start a conversation. But you know, keep in mind this video is just for it's mainly for me because I'm just talking things out, you know, and starting the conversation here and kind of you know working through the pros and cons with everybody, and, and it helps me decide uh, what to do next and kind of just make those decisions. It's just how I you know how I function, and how I do everything in life. So thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, God. I do not want to be... Okay. Okay, bye, guys.